During this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the split testing feature that we have with InstaBuilder 2.0. Now, split testing is a very important process that you should be taking when you're trying to optimize your funnel for the highest conversions. And basically what split testing is, is when you send your traffic to two different versions of the same page and see which one is converting higher. Now, I know that can sound confusing and I like a lot of work but we make it very easy with InstaBuilder to split test your different variations of your sales page and keep track of your results. So here I am right now on my sales page and let's say that I wanted to make a few different tweaks and then test them against each other to see which one converts the best, okay? So I have this one here. This is gonna be my first sales page just the way it is now and up here to the left, we can see where we have some options where it says change permalink variation A and a little arrow. So we're gonna click this little arrow and we're going to click create new variation. And when we do that, we can either duplicate the exact same sales page that we have right now. We can choose a template to create our new page from, or we can create it from scratch. Well, I'm gonna duplicate my current variation, click on create now. And now we have variation B and it's the exact same sales page, okay? So what I wanna do now is I wanna make some little changes here and there. Maybe I wanna change the headline. Maybe I wanna test out a different video. Maybe I wanna change the text on my add to cart button. Maybe I wanna change the background. So let's try that. Let's go ahead and change my background. So I'm gonna click up here. I'm gonna to go to the page settings. Gonna to go to the background image. And we're gonna change this to something else so that we can split test a different color. So let's try the green one here. So maybe I want to split test my green background versus the yellow background that we had. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to click on this arrow again up here. And if I wanted to, I could create even another variation if I wanted to. But now I'm going to go to my split test settings. And as you can see, we have two different variations right now, variation A and variation B. Now from here, you can choose how much traffic you want to send to each page. If you keep it at 50% for each one, if you send 10 visitors to your website, five of them are going to see variation A and five of them are going to see variation B. If you put variation A at 90% and variation B at 10%, that means if you send 10 people to your website, nine are going to see variation A and one is going to see variation B. Okay, so if you're just starting out with your split testing, I kind of recommend 50-50 so that way you can kind of see quickly which one of your websites or which one of your sales pages is converting the best. Now for your conversion settings, in order for InstaBuilder to keep track of your conversions, you need to choose your thank you page. Now this is going to be the page that people see once they click the add to cart button or they make a purchase or they opt in to your squeeze page, whatever kind of page you are split testing. This needs to be your thank you page after they take the action on that page. So if you would like to track something, if it's on WordPress, if your thank you page is on WordPress, all you're gonna do is simply click the drop down menu here and select your page. It can be a post, it can be a page, and you're gonna select it just like that, and InstaBuilder can keep track of your conversions of these two different pages. Or if you wanna have an external page, that's perfectly fine. We're gonna choose the external page option, and then all you need to do is InstaBuilder is gonna give you a code here. You're gonna highlight this code, you're gonna copy it, and you're gonna paste it on your thank you page just before the closing body tag. Okay, so you're gonna use this if your thank you page is hosted somewhere else on a different website. You need to take this code and you need to place it on the before the closing body tag on your thank you page. Now, if you wanna make any changes to your sales pages, you can kinda of come in here and by clicking this little drop down arrow, we can kind of switch between variation A and variation B. Now, to actually keep track of your variations and to see which one is converting the best, we head back here to our InstaBuilder dashboard and you're gonna scroll down to your page that you created and you're gonna click on the View Stats button that is located here. And when you do that, we can see all the different stats being tracked for that particular page and we can see that we have variation A down here and we have variation B. We can see how many visitors each page has received and how many conversions each page has gotten. These stats will also show you how much better each variation is doing against each other. So for example, if I sent a thousand visitors to my website and variation B was converting, you know, a lot better, maybe 20% better, the stats here would say that you have a 20% improvement by using variation B 
and it's going to give me the percentage that variation B will beat variation A. Okay, so you can come in here, you can keep track, and after a while, and when you notice variation B is always beating variation A, you can get rid of variation A and then just stick with variation B and perhaps create a new split test between variation B and then variation C. Okay, so you can always be split testing and always improving your sales pages. Now in this case, maybe variation B does not convert better, so you can delete that, stick with variation A, and then maybe create a new split test with a new background or maybe a new headline or something like that. Okay, so split testing is very important in your process of your business for tracking conversions and really improving your sales funnel, and Instant Builder makes it very easy to split test and keep track of all that information.